see here here you are writing like print right writing print here and somewhere you are written here also print so everywhere so many like in everywhere we are, we are trying to print something right yes we need to produce the result so for that reason we are going to see what is the command for to print the data to print the data what is the command we are going to see so the our next thing is how to display the result in java program in java program guys sir uh, coming to the concepts of coming to the language of c language how we are going to print by using the method of printf method printf method this is a kind of function which is defined in which header file stdevo dot h header file standard input output dot header file coming to c++ coming to c++ if you want to print some result you are going to use c out you are going to use c out which was defined in where i was stream dot h i was stream dot h you know already so printf used for to display result in c language and c out used for to print the result in c++ language C++ language. Similarly, similarly, I mean, what is the meaning of this one? Printf. What is the meaning of this one? Printf is a method. Printf is a method which was developed by C language developers and supplied as a part of the header file stdevo.h header file. And C out is a command. Which was developed by the C++ developers and supplied as a part of iWordStream.h. iWordStream.h. Okay. Similarly, similarly. So to display the result in Java program, let me explain how they develop it. How they develop? Okay. There is a one particular class. There is a one particular class. That class is print stream class. The class is print stream class. Guys, don't ask me about whether this is a capital P or small p. You know all the rules. Class print stream. And here they have written multiple methods. Among those, one method is a print ln method. One method is a print ln method. The purpose of this print ln method is to print the data, to print the data in the data and place the cursor in the next line place the cursor in next line and there is one more method y print guys tell me is it a capital p or small p now this these two is it capital p or small p tell me yes very good mark it is a small p because you know the rules of methods writing so this is a capital p because you know the rules of classes yes that is very that is why i am going very slowly yes. wide print and this is a method which is used for to print the data and place the cursor in there itself you know already the basic meaning and similarly we will have many methods are there we have many methods are there yes next there is one more class that class is system class. Class is system class. So if these people want to access this system class, want to access this print and print method, how they are going to access? Can anybody answer? How they are going to access? Whether they want to create an object or they want to create call with respect to a class. They want to create an object, right? Yes, because these are all the instant methods. So what they did is they have created an object for this print stream that object name is you know objects are all written in the form of small letters print stream out equal to new print stream. and they have designed this system class is meant for some other purpose some other purpose which you know while explaining the classes and 
they have mentioned this as static this is static why because the object static need to create only one term that is a their concept yes here they have like means static means out is a what kind of object static object okay this is the developer what they have implemented developer what they have implemented okay fine now i have written a program class csc class csc let me assume don't think that this is correct i am writing directly in ta code so, i mean the program writing is correct but the approach is wrong so what kind of approach you need to follow you need to follow this kind of approach we need to write business logic separate and uh, execution logic separate but i am writing here everything only one at one location int b equal to 3 uh, like int b equal to a into b b equal to a into b next what i need to do guys i need to i need to print the value d i need to print the value d or else uh, i am going to write int c equal to b minus a so my uh, my requirement is i need to print the data like so first six then then one so three minus two one right i mean six is one line and one is one line and in one more format i need to get in the same line then for these two results i need to print the data i need to print the data how to print first i need to print six six print chali travat karsagar kelal ma next line kelal meaning that which method i need to call i need to call print ln method i need to call print ln method so print ln method ni call cheyalante can i call it directly yes yes i can call it directly but as this class is developed by industry people you don't know exactly the class name you don't know exactly the class name that is either it is a print stream or print yes print stream or something you don't know the exact class name so that is the reason what you need to do you know there is a class called system in that class they have defined the object for this print stream then what you can do you can go for that you can take that object and you can access this one you can access this print element. but if you want to access this out object if you want to access this out object how they have defined this out object they have defined as static they have defined as static so to access this out object to access this out object what i require i need to call this with respect to with respect to what with respect to a class name with respect to a class name the class name is system i hope you are understanding as this out is a static data member a static object i need to access this out object with respect to a class name so i can access with respect to class name so i will write system what is the object name dot out dot out and meaning that i am at present at this location then which method i need to call print ln method you can another than small letter capital n another than this not out dot print ln of d meaning that i have written this one and i come to next location next i am going to write system dot out dot print ln of i can write c if i want to get output like this then what i am going to write system dot out dot print of d not print ln next system dot out dot print of c guys i hope you are understood yes so to make to call this print ln or print method they have created a object for this print ln print method in a class called system class and they have defined this out object as a static so to call this out out object i need to call with respect to a system class so that i can write like system dot out dot print ln or print that's it so the corresponding uh, display uh, statement for display statement in java is system dot out dot print ln or print print ln or print okay 
I hope you are understood, right? Yes. So if I write like in C language, if I are going to write printf, hello, it is going to print the word hello. If you are going to write in C C plus uh, plus, C out, I am going to write hello. Coming to Java language, I am going to write system dot out dot print or print ln of hello print or print ln of hello yes guys uh, here i have some value a equal to 5 let me assume a equal to 5 yes if i want to print this a value directly i can write system dot out dot print ln of a why didn't mention here in double quotations for values i won't use double quotes I won't use double quotes for string values. I will use. I can use double quotes instead of saying the string values. If I don't want to compile, if I don't want to execute that code, whatever the code, whatever the data that you are writing over the double quotation that won't like uh, debug, it will directly execute. It, sorry, it will directly print the data. If you are not writing anything over a double quotation, then it is going to evaluate first. So A means it is going to print A. Print here. Or, uh, for example, I want to like, uh, so guys, can anybody write the value of A is 5? Five. 5 is the value of A. Can anybody write the output statements for these two? Output statements random faster. Yes, let me write here. 20. First, this is the evaluation. No need. Directly, directly it can print. Similarly, here also it will directly print. System, guys, I'm writing directly system. Directly print. 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 Directly the value of a is guys i'm going fastly because you know already it, right a is i need to use an operator concatenation operator so when we are going to use concatenation operator if we want to combine combine a string data a string data and a value then you need to use concatenation operator so that here you will get the output the value of a is 5 Similarly, system dot out dot printl and five is the value of a. Then, what first I need to get a five a five value. Five is what a. Then, is the value of a. The value of a. So this is a value, and this is a kind of a string which should which won't execute any which won't execute. It will directly print as this right. So this value and printing statement. Need to combine, so I will write concatenation operator. Okay, guys, let me write the last one on your own so that we will leave. Hmm. Name equal to name equal to Sunil. Name equal to Sunil. Marks equal to hundred. Marks equal to hundred. I need to get the output as. I need to get the output as. Sunil got, Sunil got, hundred marks in subject equal to. Let me take Java. Sunil got hundred marks in Java subject. Java subject. Okay now. So CSCA people write it fastly. So I need to get this output. So for this. You need to uh, write the code. How how you can write?
nobody is trying to write the answer hmm? okay anyway let me explain let me write directly because you know so i am going to write you know s dot o dot p is something like system dot out dot println then then uh, sunil is what a variable which is given in the form of name 100 is a variable which is in the form of marks and java is a variable java is a value for a variable subject so these three are values so i don't want to mention these in a double quotations remaining all i need to mention in a double quotation so first sunil and tatum my name kada yes name name god god 100 100 and ekkada undamma marks mala in double quotations subject java not double quotations subject uh space uh, sorry marks in mm, one minute hundred marks marks in kada yes ikkada em raavalante just check ma one second fast no call here i need to write marks in and raaval because hundred is for marks this one and this marks in is for this one in subject subject followed by double quotation slow again subject trial that's it so this is a string and this is a value i need to combine it so once you get practice we'll get answer yes so this is what all about how to print the data in java language i hope you understood everyone yes sushan very good Hmm, Margavi, everyone, you tried it best and correct also. So if you have any doubts, you can ask me, or else you can leave, because uh, I think CSCA people having a class, right?